when converting between binary and octal or hexadecimal, I'm really just going to be focused on this first part of our number line. We'll use the upper half when we're converting between binary and octal, but we'll use the entire thing when we're converting between binary and hexadecimal. And these will work both ways. So we'll start with a small number like in binary. And if I want to convert this number into, say, octal, I'll start by grabbing blocks of three bits. And I'm going to look for these bits in my table. So if I take my 110, I look over at my table, I see that 6 in octal, so I'll write down a 6. Then I have 100, so I'll look over at my table, and that one's 4, so I'll write down a 4. So if I scroll down my number line for 46 in octal, I see 100110 in binary. So for hexadecimal, I'll do the same thing, but I'm going to make blocks of six bits at a time. So this time, I'm going to find 0, 1, 1, 0 in my table, and I look over and that's 6. So I'll write down a 6 for hexadecimal again. Then I have 0, 0, 1, 0. So 0, 0, 1, 0 is the same as 1, 0, which is 2. So I get 26 in hexadecimal. And again, I'll scroll down my number line. I see 26 in hexadecimal is equal to that binary number as well. So another binary number might be this. For octal, I'll find groups of 3. So 0, 1, 1 gives me 3 in octal, and 1, 1, 0 gives me 6 in octal. So I can scroll down. I would find that this is one larger than the number I've got for 51 there, so I get 63, and it's one larger than the binary number there as well. Doing this again for hexadecimal, again, blocks of 4. So here I've got 0, 0, 1, 1. That's again 3 in hexadecimal. Then I've got 0, 0, 1, 1. So in hexadecimal. Scroll back down. So the last number in my list for hexadecimal is 32. I've got one more. That's 33, which is where I expect to be again. And I can do this for numbers of any size I want. So I can take numbers that are really, really large, and I can apply this idea to convert into octal or hexadecimal without having to look back at that number line to verify that I've done my work correctly. So, so if I take a number like this, binary, for octal, I'm still interested in blocks of three. For hexadecimal, I'll be interested in blocks of four. So one, one, one is 7 in octal, 0, 0, 0 is 0, 0, 1, 1 is 3, and 1, 0, 0 is 4. For hexadecimal, I have 0, 1, 1, 1, which is 7. Then I have 1, 1, 0, 0, which is C. Then 1, 0, 0, 0 is 8. So if I had a calculator, I could verify that I've done these correctly. This is going to be well off the end of that number line. But I'm applying the same strategy I did with the previous two examples, only with a larger number this time.